up you guys my name is Mary I'm with High Priestess Intuition um, welcome my current subscribers and welcome 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 newbies if you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my, enjoy my content if you can ring the little bell via my soul trap I super appreciate it um, I decided um, I gotta go to work here in a little while but I decided I was gonna do a pick a card reading for you guys real quick um, who's coming towards you their feelings towards you that kind of thing um, I've already pre shuffled out you know I usually don't do that but I did that to save time. I have not looked at any of the cards yet. Um, so just let you know. Um, so it'd be gr um, group one, group two, group three. If somebody wants to time stamp them, you're welcome to do that. Um, this can resonate for any signs. Um, just saying. All right. Here's the first group. Um, the, uh, general pick a card. So just saying, um, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. I only take the messages that resonate. If you wouldn't mind sharing these on your social media, whatever social media platform you use, is spreading word of mouth. I'd appreciate it. All right, here we go. Here's the first group. Two of Cups. The Magician reversed. Six of Cups reversed. Self-sabotage. Discover your life purpose. Justice. Okay. So we have two of cups upright, magician reverse, six of cups reversed. If you pick group one, which this is group one, it's um, someone that wants a relationship with you, for sure, for sure, for sure. Because this is who's coming towards you and their feelings towards you, basically. Um, it's somebody that definitely wants a relationship with you, uh, for sure, for sure, for sure. And it's too, it's upright. It's not reverse. So they definitely want, like, a, a relationship, like a romantic relationship, because this is two of cups. Um, just saying. Um Lots of bad childhood memories. Pent up bad memories is what I heard. Lots of bad childhood memories, pent up childhood memories is what I heard. So this person apparently has a lot of bad childhood memories and pent up childhood memories, um, which would make sense with the Six of Cups reverse because that's <clears throat> either bad memories of the past or bad childhood memories um and then the magician reversed so whoever's coming towards you it can be masculine or feminine they definitely want a relationship with you but the bad childhood memories or bad memories of the past that they have pent up might deter their being able to open up to you is what i get from that probably because we have the magician reversed so they're either not gonna be able to manifest the relationship because they're, they have so much pent up uh, maybe you're part of their past and they still have pent up bad memories towards you possibly or they have such bad memories that they're not gonna be able to properly open up to you and not be able to properly manifest it or they're not using manipulation tactics and they're going to come clean about their um, childhood or their past and and it'll be a healthy coping mechanism and they'll be able to really open up to you. You take it out, resonates. But we have a um, magician reversed and six of cups reversed. But they definitely, definitely, definitely want a relationship. That's for sure, for sure, for sure. Whoever this resonates for. Self sabotage upright. Now, the, they have the self sabotage card, so they very well could self sabotage this relationship by not opening up properly about the past because maybe you were involved in their negative past in some type of way or negative memories of the past or negative childhood memories you take it out resonates um you could be or not be but they have the self-sabotage card so they might end up self-sabotaging the chance of the relationship with you um just saying discover your life purpose
This person has not figured out what they're going to do with their life yet. Really? Very unsettled. Still very immature. Mentally. Okay, wow. Okay, there you go. So I heard this person really, um, they're very mentally immature, I heard from Spirit. And they still don't know what they're going to do with their life. So they don't have a, like a life plan, like a five-year goal or a three-year goal, probably. Um, and they're still very unsettled in life. So they've probably got a million different things going on and can't settle on one thing, probably can't focus and settle down and don't know what the crap they're, they're wanting to do with their life. Um, they discover your life purpose card so there's they they don't have a set goal five-year plan in life they they still don't know what they want to do which would makes it very very difficult for a relationship because relationship is two people if one person's flighty and doesn't know what the crap they're doing I don't know how they expect to be able to be in a relationship a stable grounded healthy relationship and bring that person in the hot mess but you take it how it resonates um, but they're still very, they're very mentally immature, I heard from spirit, whoever this person is. They're very in, mentally immature. It sounds like they want the benefits of a relationship, but I don't know if they'll put the time and hard work into it is what I'm trying to say. Because they don't even know what they're going to, what they're going to do with their own life. So how are they going to be able to include another person to be stable, grounded, and reliable? I don't know. But you take it how it resonates in your own life. Justice Upright. <clears throat> This person bullied you as a child. You are very grounded and stable. Whoa, okay. I heard this person bullied you as a child and you're very grounded and stable. So, obviously you're both adults right now. So, whoever is coming towards you, they want a relationship with you. But I heard they bullied you as a child. And, um... They're very ungrounded and unstable right now in adult life. But you are very grounded and stable. So we have the justice card. So maybe you're going to get justice in this situation because um, because you are very great, grounded and stable right now. But this person bullied you as a child. So maybe you will get your justice once you tell them, you know, because they, they want a relationship with you. They do. But it sounds like they might want to use you. Now that I'm hearing the messages and the cards and everything now, it sounds like them I want to use you. They bullied you as a child. They had no respect for you as a child, so they probably just want to use you, probably, be taken out resonates. But I think um, you will get your justice by telling them, hey, you know, I remember those bad childhood memories. I remember how you bullied me. Um, you don't have your life together. How could you expect us to be in a stable ground of relationship? That kind of thing. You take it out resonates. Or you could get justice by maybe helping turn this person's life around and y'all and maybe they become stable and grounded and reliable and y'all have a happy relationship. Everybody's life situation is different. You take it out resonates. Okay, well that's group one. If you picked group two, this is group two. King of Pentacles upright, the High Priestess reversed, <clears throat> Knight of Cups reversed. Letting go, Entrapment, Family. Now, this is group two for who's coming towards you and their feelings towards you. This person is getting out of a very abusive situation with family. Is what I just heard. This person is getting out of a very abusive situation with family. That's what I heard. So... Whoever this person is, if you pick group two and they're, um, they're, and this resonates with you, I heard they're getting out of a very abusive situation with family. So they had some kind of falling out or, or some kind of toxic situation with family member or members. And they're getting out of that um, for whoever this resonates with. 
We have Knight of Pentacles upright. <clears throat> now, you know, there's different energy levels and vibration levels in Tarot. This person, there's Page, Knight, King and Queen, Emperor, Empress, High Priestess. So this person is a Knight, the second lowest on the vibration level. This person could be a young adult or um, um, a young adult or like a 35-year-old acts like a 20-year-old. Flighty, player in and out energy. This person could be masculine or feminine. You take it out, resonates. <clears throat> but they're coming in, flighty, player in and out energy. So, you know, that isn't the most stable, grounded, reliable, dependable energy. It's not like a king and queen energy and definitely not like a emperor empress. Um, so it's flighty, player in and out. It could actually, it might, if they're coming in as a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, upright energy. So it might actually be a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or another sign taking on the Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, upright energy. You take it out, it resonates. They're coming in with secrets about a water sign, is what I just heard. They're coming in, coming in about secrets about a water sign. So this person... And either a Taurus Capricorn Virgo, actually, or another sign taking on the Taurus Capricorn Virgo upright energy of stable, crowned, reliable, flighty, in and out player energy. Um, I heard they're coming in about secrets about a water sign. And they're, they recently um, got out of a toxic family situation. This person did. So they recently got out of a toxic family situation. And they're coming in about secrets about a water sign. Now, it doesn't have to be romantical. It's just who's coming towards you and their feelings towards you. Um, so this person doesn't have to come in as a romantical scale. Um, but they have got out of a toxic, recent toxic situation with a family situation. And there sounds like their family or somebody else's family. And they're coming in about secrets about a water sign. So you take it how it resonates in your own life. And um, that would make sense why we have the high priestess reversed. Because that could be secrets coming out if it's reversed. If it's not coming in as a person. Her secrets about a water sign. And then we have Knight of Cups reversed, which is that water sign. Now, this person's coming in as a Knight too, but they're coming in as reversed. And I heard about a water sign. Now, this is towards, um, this is water sign energy, um, but I heard from Spirit about a water sign. So, I think it's this person right here, but they're coming in. They're a flighty player in and out energy too, because they're coming in as a Knight energy too. This person could be masculine or feminine. Um, I heard a water sign, so it's either a... Um, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, um, masculine or feminine, and they're coming in as a um, water sign reverse energy of ungiving, unloving, unkind towards you. So this person was very ungiving, unloving, and un unkind towards you, and it was a water sign, whether it's masculine or feminine, because I heard that from spirit. Um, at Taurus, I mean, I'm sorry, not a Taurus. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. They could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Dumb Behavior, or Jupiter. So you take it out, resonates. Letting go. This person has let go of this water sign. They realize they're very toxic. Okay, I heard this person that's coming in towards you. Um, they have let go of this water sign because they realize this water sign is very toxic. And this is that water sign, I think, that's showing up in here. They realize the water sign is very toxic. So they're letting go of that water sign. And I think they're going to come in and tell you secrets about this water sign. Um, absolutely freaking lootly. Entrapment. This person felt very trapped in this situation and with this information for a long time, but they're about to reveal it. It's going to create many series of chain of events. Wow. Okay. I heard this person felt very trapped with this, the secrets of this water sign in this toxic situation, it sounds like, for a long time. But I heard they're about to reveal them very, very, very soon. They're going to feel very free, <clears throat> finally. Okay, I heard this person's going to feel very free finally. So they're going to feel free. They're going to feel free finally because they were trapped in this situation for such a long time. I heard it was a toxic family situation. We have the family card, so that would make sense. 
So I think they were entrapped in their, their some kind of toxic family situation of theirs. That's what I heard from Spirit at the beginning. Um, or somebody else's family situation. I heard a family situation, toxic family situation. So you take it out, resonates. Okay, that's group two. This is group three. We're at 1530. Not doing too shabby on time, you guys. Nine of Wands upright. Yeah, Nine of Wands upright. Five of Pentacles reverse. The Emperor reverse. Wild. Home. Glove. Uh, let me uh, look up Nine of Wands upright real quick and then. Even in the face of adversity, you still stand tall and strong. Okay, so this person, this is who's coming towards you and their feelings towards you. So they are standing tall in the face of tall and strong in the face of adversity. They're coming out of the cold financially, so they're getting their money up, getting their money right. They obviously it looks like had hard times financially in the past, obviously, but they um, but they're coming out of it because it's reversed. And they have the emperor reversed. Now, um, this person either was trying to be controlling towards them or they had lacked self-confidence towards this person. Whoever this is, this person was dealing with that's coming towards you. Um, some signs say this is strictly Aries energy. I, I disagree because any sign can be the emperor or if you go in reversal state, that as well. If um, you properly manifest all the... Um, earth, water, air, wind, fire, and the ethers together inside of you uh, when you're upright. Now, of course, anybody can go reversed, and this is what's happened in this situation, but if you do that properly inside yourself, anybody, any sign can be the um, emperor or empress. Um, you don't have to be a Libra or Aries. Just saying. It can be any sign. But whoever this is that had properly manifested at one time upright has went reversed. So this person has either went controlling towards this person or they lack self-confidence towards this person, the person that's coming towards you. <clears throat> excuse me so the person that's coming towards you if you pick group three they're standing tall and face in the face of adversity so they faced a lot of hard times in the past for sure for sure for sure but they're standing very tall and strong now they're getting their confidence back they're um they're moving on baby they're moving on they're standing tall and strong and they're getting their confidence back and they're they're moving forward in life they're coming out of the cold financially, so they're building their money up. They're probably really, really saving or being smart with their money or making good investments or something of that nature, but their money's coming up. And then, um, they're either, um, have somebody that has like self-confidence or is trying to be controlling towards them. You take it out, resonates. Or they could be trying to be controlling towards you. You take it out, it resonates. Or lacking self-confidence towards you. But I, I don't think it's a lacking self-confidence towards you, if that's the case, because they're standing tall in the face of adversity. And they've got confidence up because they're building their money up. So for some of you, it could be them possibly trying to be controlling towards you. You take it out, it resonates in your own life. Possibly for some of you, could be dealing with Aries or not. You take it out, it resonates. Wild. This person will see you as very wild and needs to be tamed. Watch out for controlling. Whoa, okay. Well, there you go. Holy crap. All right, this person will see you as wild and needs to be tamed. Watch out for controlling. Okay, so... Well, there you go. Well, then, hearing that, I'm thinking this over here is them being controlling towards you then. 
um, when they come in to your energy field because they're standing very tall in the face of adversity so they have lots of confidence and self-worth in themselves because they've done it they've done the damn thing they're building themselves up financially but i heard they're going to see you as very wild and free and you need they view you as you need to be controlled so they think you need to be controlled um they're not lacking self-confidence because they're doing the damn thing i think they want to control you because they see you as like an object we have the wild card that's a little scary for whoever picked uh group three i would just be aware and i strongly think this person is a masculine energy for sure for sure for sure because we have the emperor card this is not the empress not the high priestess it's not a feminine energy card it's a masculine energy card just saying they're, they're wanting to control you in some type of way so it could be a dad it could be a brother it could be a love interest um it could be a friend i hope not friends shouldn't ever want to do that but nobody should ever want to do that but it's a magical energy of some type home they have severe control issues over money and property Woo wee whoever picked group three you're in for something man be careful on this person i'm serious I heard they have severe control issues over money and property. So it's a masculine energy. I heard they, they want to basically control you. They see you as an object. They want to control you. Um, you probably have a very free-spirited, wild, free-spirited, beautiful heart. Um, that sometimes people take that as, oh, you're, you know, you're having too much fun in life. You need the whip, which is sad. Because, you know, you can be very free and love, loving and free-spirited and not be like a hoe, for sure, for sure. Um, but some people want to crack the whip on that shit, which is sad because it's like they want to put out your fire and your flame and what makes you beautiful to the world. Um, but I heard this person, whoever this masculine energy is, has severe control issues over money and property. So, and I mean, they know how to do it, obviously, because they've come out of hard times themselves. However, they shouldn't try to, you know, what you do is what you do. You shouldn't ever try to control others anytime, any place, any situation, period. Um, but it sounds like they want to put that on somebody else. I'm just saying. So they might try to come in wanting a relationship with you. For some of you guys, that's what I'm thinking. And then start trying to control you. So I think you might have money or property of some type that they want to. And it's going to make them very enticing to them. Be careful. Love. For some, they're going to want to lock you down into marriage. Use your best discernment. Oh, okay. I heard for some of you guys, they're going to want to lock you down into marriage. Use your best discernment. So we have the white glove card. Um, I think this is indicative of marriage. Just saying. Um, I heard for some of you guys, they want to lock you down into marriage. Um, Use your best discernment. So discernment is really choosing carefully the decisions you make in life. Um, yeah. And it's a masculine energy for whoever this resonates with if you pick group three. Um, yikes. This is not somebody I'd want to be married to. That's for sure, for sure, for sure. But somebody's coming towards you. If you pick group three, this is definitely somebody coming towards you. So just um, if you're not interested in this kind of thing, you need to use your best discernment and really um, steer clear. Or put up boundaries just saying all right you guys here we go all right i hope this helped for real for, for real um if you wouldn't mind sharing these videos on your social media and sharing word of mouth i'd appreciate it i love you so guys so freaking much um it's donations only it's high priestess or five links in the description box below if you'd like to donate you have to um clear it out after you select your donation amount put in donation very very important for tax purposes all right, you guys. I love you guys so freaking much. I do, I do, I do, who? Namaste.